Hey guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called System Restore, and uh, basically, there's a few of these going around at the moment. They're slightly different uh, hard drive recovery and whatnot. There's all different types. Now, this does drop occasionally, drop, drops the actual uh, rootkit on the system, uh, Lurian or something like that on the system, and also it crashes the system, and then you get caught in a, a reboot in loop where it'll just try to fix and it can't fix it. Now what we're going to do is hopefully try to fix this at the desktop and I'll show you this and I'll also show you the other way of fixing it as well. Okay so let's have a look where it lives. It lives in a program's data so I'm just going to pull this to the side. You can't put this down so I just need to move this out of the way. And I'm going to show you where this, uh, you can't see it at the moment and that's because it's hidden. So we need to uh, show hidden files and folders. Okay, so this is uh, the location in this grayed out box here, program data, and you'll see this is where it is here, okay? Okay, so here we have help and live support window, all bogus, and we also have uh, fix errors, it'll go through the motions of trying to fix it, it won't fix nothing. Now this does hide files, so don't go cleaning your temporary internet files because this will occasionally hide the uh, files in the programs and stuff like that and you need to use a program called unhide. Okay so what you can do now is go to the buy now thing and uh, as you can see it's just a bogus page really. Um, it just wants to get your money off you so don't be paying for this sort of stuff. Um, and Basically uh, what we're going to do here is continue with limitations. And you can see uh, this is the actual interface you've got here. Now what I said to you is this does hide files inside your temporary folder. And I'll show you where that is now. So if I go to my computer, C drive, and then users, and then the actual user account, application data, and then local, and then temp. Inside here you'll have files. Okay, and they'll be called. I'll, I'll put the link up on the, the picture up on the screen so you can see what they look like. This is what the folders will be called, and uh, this is where all your stuff will be hidden into. Okay, and you will have to copy those back. I can't show you because it hasn't done it yet on mine, and it may take a bit of time before it does it. I need to leave this installed for a while before it happens. It's the same with uh, the rootkit, it doesn't always jump, uh, drop the rootkit. Okay, so let's have a look at the unhide thing here. So this is the actual uh, program, unhide. It will unhide all your files so you can actually see the hidden files that are hidden inside the temp folder. So don't be go running temp cleaners and stuff like that because you will cause yourself a load of hassle. And I will put the link in the description, all the stuff for the files here. Okay. So I'll let this run. I don't need to unhide my files really because they're already unhidden, but I'll just do it. Okay, so that's the unhide part done. Okay, so let's kill this off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, program here. And as you can see, that's the program. I've used before, ultimate process killer. And I'm going to just come down to this location here. I'm going to kill this process, put the tick inside here, highlight it, and then kill this process. And it's gone. Okay, we now need to go to the location, our C drive, inside programs data. And I'm going to delete all these files here now, we don't need these. Okay, they're all gone now. The next thing I want to do is run TDSS killer. And then we're going to run this. Let this scan. Okay, as you can see, we've got a root kit here. And we're going to kill this off. And all we need to do here is leave it on cure. Okay, press continue. And then reboot the system. And that should be pretty much uh, that taken care of.
so we're pretty much at the desktop and what I would do here really is just tidy up all these uh, files here and inside there if there's one okay so if you get caught in this rebooting loop uh, where you uh, crash the system the system gets crashed and then it will constantly reboot the system and it will try to boot the system up but it can't and it will want to uh, go into the repair mode uh, start up repair mode and uh, this will be continuous until you fix it now this won't fix the issue that you've got you will need a, a repair CD so what we'll do is we'll wait till this gets to the repair part and I'll show you how to get around this if you can't get into your system okay so what happens now is you'll get this startup repair and this will constantly try to repair it it won't repair it and then it will reboot and it will go straight back into the same thing and get to this location here and try to repair it again okay okay so that's now saying it's uh, finished and we need to restart now this will reboot so I'm going to reboot into the uh, CD now I've got the Windows CD in the CD drawer there and I'm going to boot to that so I'm going to push any key on the keyboard to enter the uh, boot from the CD mode now you may need to change the uh, boot order inside the BIOS there to boot to CD first so we'll just let this load up on the screen here okay so what we want to do here now is go next here and also we want to click on uh, repair your computer scanning for Windows installation I'm going to go next here now you may be uh, on this one down the bottom here just cancel out of those if you have got that one selected is we want to go into the command prompt here now if you have been forced to restart then restart and then come all the way back to this where it says uh, command prompt and then what we're going to do here is uh, going to change directory to our D drive now yours may be different and you can check that by typing DIR and this will tell me that we're in the right place that we are, we are in our Windows directory okay so let's clear the screen so what we want to do here is type boot rec space forward slash and I'm going to do fix MBR and then from there I want to go boot rec again forward space forward slash fix boot like so I'm going to exit out of here and reboot the system okay so let the system load up we should be pretty good to go from there and then run some scans once we get to the desktop okay as you can see we're back at the desktop now and I would run some scans I would run TDSS killer and I would also run Malwarebytes to make sure we're clean and also run something like Jima uh, to make sure that we've got any make sure there's no root kits on there or anything like that okay anyway I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and if you uh, got any requests for videos then send me a message and I'll do my best to make those videos for you okay so thanks a lot for watching guys bye for now